to mention his name. <laughs> because it is painful to me to mention it. And the reason for it is this. The Constitutional Court left it to us to decide how serious the violation was. It kept quiet and left it to our judgment. It didn't expect us to make distinctions and say, because the Constitutional Court did not say it was serious, because it has the modesty to keep quiet, we can say it was not serious. So now, because of this lawyer-turned-politician approach, I have to say it was serious. And I would like to challenge every member of the National Executive Committee, every member of the Working Committee, every member of the Cabinet to say, hey, would they have done what the President did? If they did, they must all resign. If they would not have done it, then of course they must make sure the President resigns. The second thing is, in the wake of this judgment, if they were president, would they have resigned or would they have stayed on? If they would have stayed on, then they all must go. <laughs> and if they would have resigned, then they must make sure the president resigns. So it's really a conversation with the African National Congress. I would like them all not to look at legality. Look at your consciences, my ex-comrades. Look at your consciences very carefully because in those days we spoke out against the government strongly despite fears of reprisal. Now I speak out against you despite fears of any reprisal and I, 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 I am no, under no illusions to be certain that there will be no reprisal. This government works in very awkward, horrendous ways.